Believe it or not, this could actually help your marriage. A baseball. A baseball. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> well, truthfully, men find it very difficult to talk about negative emotions because their sensors kind of get overloaded, you know? Mm -hmm. And so sitting knee to knee, face to face talking just kind of overwhelms them. However, if they're doing something active in the meantime, if they're holding a ball, bouncing a ball, playing catch or something like that, they find it easier to talk about things. So when she thinks he's not listening, maybe exactly when he is. It may be the only time he is. <laughs> Notice how men talk to each other. Mm -hmm. They're doing something active. Usually they're working on a car, they're playing golf, they're at a sporting event, and that's how they talk. Well, we saw an example of that last week. We went to a hockey game, and the men behind us, two men behind us, were talking about one of their wives. Yeah, and an she, illness she had. She had an illness, and they were discussing that. And, and he would say, well, her next doctor's appointment is such and such. Oh, what a great save. And yeah. it would just go back and <laughs> forth between the discussion of this disease and what was going on on the mm -hmm. ice. And that is how men do it. It actually helps diffuse some of the emotions, the negative emotions, and it's how they deal with it. So if you want your guy to talk, do something active with him. Take a walk play catch, let him hold a ball, it might actually help your marriage.